Non-normal checklists are used by the crew to work with system faults and other situations which can decrease flight safety. Non-normal checklists can be found in the Quick Reference Handbook or QRH. They are in logical groups with a table of contents for each group. Checklists are shown alphabetically. Non-normal checklists are requested and monitored by the captain and the steps must be done carefully and systematically. Some steps are applicable to all non-normal situations. First, keep control of the airplane. Second, stop the oral warning. You are now ready to examine the situation. Now reset the master caution system. The system can now alert you to other faults if they occur. When the crew knows the airplane's condition, it is time for the captain to make sure all initial steps are completed correctly. Call for and start the checklist. The last step is to say the checklist is complete. There are three types of non-normal checklists. They are reference-only checklists, recall-only checklists, and mixed recall reference checklists. Reference-only checklists contain steps which are read and do only. The pilot flying calls for the non-normal checklist. The pilot not flying reads the checklist challenge and response. The flight crew completes the necessary steps. After a checklist item is accomplished, the pilot not flying says the checklist response. The pilot flying must verify the item has been done correctly and then respond. Recall checklists have items which are done from memory. The checklist is then used to check that the items were done correctly. The recall items have a box around them in the checklist. The pilot flying says which checklist is to be done and tells the other pilot to start the recall items. The pilot flying or pilot not flying completes the necessary steps. The pilot flying then calls for the checklist. The pilot not flying reads the checklist challenge and response. The pilot flying must verify the item has been done correctly and then respond. The mixed recall reference checklist has a recall section and a reference section. The pilot flying says which checklist is to be done and tells the other pilot to start the recall items. The pilot flying or pilot not flying completes the necessary steps in the recall section, the boxed items. The pilot flying then calls for the checklist. The pilot not flying reads aloud the challenge and response of the recall items. The pilot flying must verify the item has been done correctly and then respond. The flight crew completes the necessary steps of the reference section of the checklist. After a checklist item is accomplished, the pilot not flying says the checklist response. The pilot flying must verify the item has been done correctly and then respond. Checklists also supply data about inoperative equipment when such data is necessary for subsequent parts of the flight. Planning data shows steps that must be done before landing. These items can be done as they become necessary. Caution notes give information necessary to keep the flight safe during a non-normal condition. 
Some checklist steps include more data to help you make decisions. Also, normal checklist items can be included in the non-normal checklist. This decreases crew workload.